Hey guys, um, by now you guys know who I am, I'm Brittany, and <laughs> I have a really, really uber numerish map of, or match of Search and Destroy on Favela. At the time, this game is a little old, and um, I just kept it because I did alright, although I played like a huge noob. I don't play Search and Destroy, and at the time I didn't know really how to play Search and Destroy, so you're going to see me make some huge mistakes here, and I know, so you don't really need to point them out to me because I know I messed up. I just, I don't play Search and Destroy, and I didn't know at the time, like, what I was supposed to do towards the end of the rounds. When somebody was going to defuse, I didn't realize that if I, our team had planted and they defused, the round was over. So, I didn't know. So, you guys don't need to tell me because I know that this game is, like, super noob-ish. <laughs> like, hardcore. <laughs> Um, and I did have to fast forward because this match was like 13 minutes long and it's a bunch of me camping so and dying. So I didn't think you guys really wanted to see that. But anyways, um, I wanted to actually talk about... I found that in the last couple of videos I've had a topic to discuss and so I figured in this video I wanted to discuss uh, or tell you, talk to you guys about how I got started posting videos on YouTube and and commentary and you know why I'm doing it and stuff like that and how I got more, how I got started and I also wanted to know how you guys got started you know why are you, did you or what made you want to post videos on YouTube and also or I should say and or do commentary so leave your comments below I really do like reading all the comments I know I don't respond to all of them but I, I read all of them so definitely leave a comment telling me how you guys got started and what made you want to do Modern Warfare 2 commentaries or if you can do commentaries on any other games, uh, let me know because I'd love to check that out. Uh, but pretty much how I got started is I wanted to do commentary for um, Gears 2 because at the time I hadn't seen anybody do commentary for that game and so I thought it would be pretty neat and so I had some you know ga good games that I posted and I tried to do commentary on granted they sound they're kind of dumb to me now <laughs> um but at the time you know not a lot of people did them and I don't really think now a lot of people do them so I'm not sure I'd have to look but that's kind of how I got started. How I got started posting videos, um, I actually wanted to make a montage at the time Gears 1 was out because I, I played the crap out of that game and I thought, you know, I played it so much, you know, I wasn't too terrible. I was sure that I could get some clips and it just never really happened. I really wanted to get like good ki good clips, like triples and quads and I just couldn't get seen to get them even with a shoddy. Um, I didn't snipe. I don't snipe really in any games because I'm not patient enough to snipe and I just don't like to, so I really wanted it to be clips of like, you know, shoddy clips and boom shot clips, uh, torque bow clips, things like that. Excuse me. But I just, it never happened, so I was just like, eh, I'll just, you know, I'll just continue to post gameplays of other stuff, and it's kind of what I did. Um, how I got into the whole Modern Warfare 2 commentary, at the time that I was searching for the Gears commentary. I actually stumbled upon PJ's channel, PSN Cool PJ, I guess, for those of you that don't know. And his commentary just cracked me up. Like, I loved it. I never, or I shouldn't say never, but for the majority of the time, I didn't watch his gameplay. I just listened to him because he was so funny. Like, I just love his commentary. It's hilarious. And then from there, I ended up finding Hutch's channel, and I really liked his commentary as well. His gameplay was fun to watch, but. For the most part, I just really liked his commentary, and I also found C. Niners' channel and at the time when he was doing World of War videos, and they are really informative, and I had World of War, and I played it, but not really, like, a ton. I played just a little bit of it, but his videos were great, and I really loved listening to him. He reminds me of Bob, Ro or reminded me of Bob Ross, I think that's his name, the painter, the guy with the fro, was, you know, dressed up in the 70s gear, did the oil paintings. His voice reminds me of Bob Ross's voice. I think that's his name. If it's wrong, let me know, but I'm pretty sure it's Bob Ross. Um, but yeah, so then, you know, I found their channels and subscribed to them, and then I, Modern Warfare 2 came out, and I was like, oh, you know, why don't I do commentary for Modern Warfare 2? So I did that, and then I don't have too many gameplay commentaries up, but I actually got contacted by Hutch and John on the same day through YouTube, and it was just, like, crazy because I'm like, oh my gosh, you know? <laughs> I know who these people are. I watched 
John on Camp Hutch and I, he also had another video that Hutch posted on his own personal channel. It's like, oh my God. I was like, these guys are freaking awesome. I can't believe they contacted me. And I didn't, like, I, I was just like, oh my God. Um, are these for real? Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> it was just really crazy. But they pretty much like opened the door for me. Um, subscriber wise and everything else it was just pretty crazy like how much influence they have over the you know Call of Duty YouTube community I know that um, kind of what happened to me isn't gonna happen to everybody I got really really lucky and I can't thank them enough for what they did for me um, they like really opened the doors for me um, and got my name out there I guess and I, the reason I say I guess is because I, <laughs> uh, I, I don't really like saying that I'm popular, that I'm known, or anything like that. I just think it sounds so like full of myself, and I just don't like saying it. But they opened the door for me for really, or for you know, meeting a lot of really cool people and a lot of really cool things um, that have happened to me. So I can't thank them enough. And I just want to let you guys know that what happened to me isn't necessarily going to happen to everybody else and it's just kind of I got really like extremely lucky like super 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 lucky <laughs> and I know that I understand a lot of people have built up their subscriber base um and it's taken them months to do that and when they put a lot of hard work and I'm I'm not saying that you know I have it easy I just got really really lucky um but I kind of skipped over part of my like timeline <laughs> when I was posting. So let's rewind here a little bit. When I was posting those videos, uh, I posted, you know, Gears 2 videos and go with commentary. And then I posted a couple of Call, Call of Duty vi 4 videos. And then I had posted a couple, you know, some gameplay without commentary on my channel of Modern Warfare 2. And I was actually contacted by TGT or the Gamers Tutorial and they actually hosted my videos first um, and got me some subscribers. You know, I, had, I was like at 200 subscribers or something like that. And then I had actually gotten contacted by John and uh, Hutch like on the same day, which is really crazy. Um, so that's kind of like how my progression went when subs. I. <laughs> After I was on John's channel, I went from like 200 subs to like 4,000 subs, like literally overnight. It was ridiculous. Like I, <laughs> I woke up and I had like close to 10,000 emails, I think, in my inbox because of those YouTube no notifications I get. And I have them separated out into a separate folder. But I opened my emails like, holy crap. <laughs> it's like, it's amazing the power that, you know, these two people have. It's ridiculous. Or I wouldn't say power, but influence over the community. It's just it's crazy. Um, but that's kind of how I got started um, doing this. I guess I'm relatively new to the whole commentary scene, but not super, super new. But I guess I am kind of new. Um, but yeah, that's how I got started. I definitely would love to hear how you guys got started. Um, or, you know, how you got started on YouTube or how you got started doing commentaries or why you're doing commentaries. If you have commentary of other games besides Modern Warfare 2, I would definitely leave a comment and let me know because I really like watching or listening to commentary, especially if it's funny and interesting. Um, so if you have that, definitely leave a comment. I do read all the comments. If I don't respond, I still do read every single one of them. And I love reading them. And if you guys have... If you guys see anybody doing negative comments, like, I definitely do not mind constructive criticism whatsoever. But if it's blatantly rude, if you guys could just thumbs down it, that would be great and I would love it. <laughs> um, also, what I was going to tell you guys, I, if you guys don't know, I don't know if a lot of you guys follow me on Twitter, but um, I have to update, update that thing a lot. Um, so if you do want to follow me, definitely follow me. Because uh, that's honestly, like, the easiest way for me to get in contact with people is if you follow me on there because you know it's a 140 word or character limit so I'm easily able to respond back to a lot of you guys that have questions and stuff like that and a lot of you guys are just really helpful and you help me out if I have questions or anything like that so it's really great and so it's an easy way for me to be able to talk to you and I can respond really fast but I'm actually in the process of moving up in a new apartment I hate my apartment my apartment manager manager is a complete asshole douchebag you know I want to punch him in the face every time I see him because he's a dick like bonafide dick I 
ugh, I can't wait to get out of here. But I'm moving next week and I'm like really stressed out because I have boxes everywhere and my apartment's like so unorganized and I really, really don't like living in chaos because that's like not the type of person I am. So, um, I probably won't be posting a lot of gameplays or anything like that until I'm, you know, completely situated in my apartment and I'm just going to be busy packing and getting ready and all that other stuff. So, um, I may not have a lot of videos up, but I hopefully will have some up, you know, in the next coming couple of weeks. I also got Battlefield, so if you guys have Battlefield, um, let me know also in the comments and I will send you guys friends requests. Please don't send me friends requests because I already have like a bunch of messages and friends requests. Um, but if you're, you know, pretty good at the game and can help out a noob, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but thanks for watching. My video's pretty much over now and I went 9-3 and, and we ended up winning, so yay. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.